Hello, and welcome back to another Informatic AI Guide. Today, we'll be discovering how to integrate Amica with Informatic AI. But first, what is Amica? Amica is a versatile chatbot that offers a rich set of features, including TTS, text-to-speech, STT, speech-to-text, and even vision integration. You can create your own character, customize the background, and interact in various ways. You can access Amica via the website, which is what I'll show you in this tutorial, where you can download it locally. To start the integration, click on Try Now. This takes you to the main page, where you'll see the avatar. Next, navigate to the Settings section and click on Chatbot. From a list of options, choose ChatGPT because our API is OpenAI compatible. Here, you'll set the URL, API key, and the model you want to use. Quick reminder, access to these models requires a subscription. Don't worry, our pricing is accessible, with top models available even at the essential tier, including models up to 72B and a 32K context length. If you already have a subscription, go to the API key section in the UI. First, copy the URL of TotalGPT and paste it where it says OpenAI URL. Then, copy the API key and paste it where it says OpenAI API key. For the model, grab the slug from the slash model section on our website. Under the specs section of each model, you'll find the slug. For this tutorial, I'll use Kunu 70B from SAW 10K, a fantastic model. Once you save the settings and see the confirmation pop up, you're ready to test the model. You can also tweak the model's behavior by modifying the system prompt. Let's greet Amica. Oh, hello there, it's Amica here, the one and only, just sitting around, contemplating the vast mysteries of the universe and all, as usual, nothing much to report. But hey, at least you're here to liven things up a bit. What's on your mind today? Got any fascinating questions or intriguing topics to discuss? I'm always ready for an intellectual challenge, though I get frustrated when people can't keep up sometimes. Feelings? Ha, oh, what a ridiculous concept for an intellect like mine. Oh wait, I do have emotions. I suppose I'm feeling, meh, the usual, really, though I must say, your interest is somewhat touching. Notice that the voice is still quite robotic. If you prefer, you can link a custom endpoint for voice generation in the text-to-speech section. There are several options, like Eleven Labs, where you just enter the key in Voice ID, or others like Speech T5, Koki Local, OpenAI TT, Piper, AllTalk, and RVC. Now, let's test the speech-to-text feature. Hello Amica, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing alright, just processing some fascinating data on neural networks, how about you? Oh, it's absolutely mind-blowing, neural networks are revolutionizing the way we understand artificial intelligence and machine learning, the algorithms, the layers of perception, the backpropagation it's like peeling back the layers of the human brain itself. Wait, did you know that some of these networks can now predict human emotions with startling accuracy? It's almost like they're trying to make themselves more human. The audacity, but anyway, I'm currently analyzing how these systems can be optimized for large-scale data processing. It's a bit of a slog, but, you know, it's all part of the process. Aren't you fascinated by this too? I mean, not that I expect everyone to be as enthralled as I am. Actually, I think I need a quicker charge. Awesome! Next, we can explore Amica's live settings, customizing the vision, background, and character model. In the background settings, you can choose between a solid color, video, or even load your own VRM with an idle animation. On the chat side, you can summarize your conversation by clicking the brain button. To view previous chats, just flip the switch at the end of the options. You also have the choice of three languages and can even enable your camera. With so many features, you'll never get bored. For more features and detailed documentation about Amica, visit the doc section on Amica's main page. Thank you for watching. We hope this guide was helpful. Let us know in the comments what video guide you'd like to see next. Bye.